Hello guys, well, hello guys, welcome back to my channel and this is episode 3 of sharing my trading strategy, scalping strategy or I call it ultimate stra scalping strategy and on this video I'm going to discuss to you one of the most important or if not the most important part of the strategy and this is the uh, how to enter the trade and I think most of the new traders, most of the new traders they have uh, having a hard time entering the market or they don't know where, when and how to enter the market. So on this video, I will explain to you the step four of my strategy, which is the my the optimum entry. And uh, OK, so let let's do this optimum entry. So this is the number four. So uh, if you're new to, to this, to my channel or if you don't know uh, if you haven't uh, if you haven't watched if you haven't watched my video yet so I have a description below which explains the steps of this strategy like one to uh, 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 five, uh, five steps strategy which is really easy to follow and it's on the description and also I have I posted uh, two vi two videos already the number uh, one uh, episode one is is the overview of the strategy and then the uh, number the number two video is the methodology of this strategy where I explain everything about this uh, strategy and how to execute this strategy. So, but now I'm focusing on the optimum entry, and then the optimum entry is uh, uh, in order for you to have an optimum entry. This you need to you need to know. Or you you need to have an understanding of a basic uh, price action, which is uh, number one is displacement, number two market shift or break of structure, number three is the fair value gap. So you need to learn about all of that, and I will have some like short explanation. Uh, I will explain a little bit on, on that, all of that things that I mentioned here in this video while uh, I'm explaining the optimum entry. So you you need to learn or you need to understand those things in order for you to uh, execute the step number four, which is the uh, entry or the, yeah. So in order, for you, in order for you to enter the market. So this will guide you when, where, and how to enter the, enter the market. So number four. So let's go back. Uh, let's find an example, okay? Let's see, we'll start on the Asia, Asia session. The slow market and sometimes impossible to trade or not impossible but uh, not pro prof profitable enough profitable enough to to trade all right uh, some says but on my strategy i love asia market okay now uh, asia asia opening will start at 8 p.m standard eastern time uh, eastern standard time so i'm what i mean is eastern yeah so it's 8 p.m. This is where the market starts, right? And then uh, I will start hunting setups 7:30 p.m. to to 9 p.m. So that's where I start. And then uh, my my trading zone is from 7:30 7:30 p.m. to 9:30 a uh, 9:30 p.m. 9:30 p.m. So that's my trading zone, but um, I will I'll only be hunting setup from 7:30 to 9 9 9 9 p.m. So if I if I don't have a setup on this time period or on this session, I will not be entering the market after 9 p.m. But my uh, once I have a setup. Uh, I will close my trade no matter what after 9.30. That's that's what I do. But most of the time, I will hit my take profit or loss within this time period. Or I will exit the market within time. I will not, like I cannot uh, go beyond this one here because I need to sleep sometimes and I don't want to spend more time watching the chart and stressing myself. All right. So let's see, like for example, so let's talk about this optimum entry, step number four. So let's replay this market. 
7.30 like right here. Okay, so now we have this algorithmic move, a little bit like trending up and a low volume market and slow market, right? Like that. And then you're watching, we are on consolidation. We don't have a setup yet. So if you watch my vi videos and if you, uh, and if you read the description, you already know what we're looking for in order to enter the market, right? This step one, two, three. Now, then all of a sudden you have this one. So this one fulfills this one, two, three uh, steps of the strategy, but we're talking about the optimum entry, which is step number four. So you have a displaced candle that created this one, this is very important, that created market shift, okay? So a market shift, market structure shift, or change of character, whatever you call it. And then this one is a displacement, and this displaced candle is still one candle, and then created, we have leave fair value gap. So this is a good fair value gap. So I will show you why. Market shift, trending down, super super trend supported the various. We cross EM, EMA 21 and moving average nine cross. That's our signal, number one. And we do have here, this one here. We do have a fair value gap here. And this fair value gap has a volume imbalance. Wow, beautiful. So, a volume imbalance. So volume imbalance is uh, like there are more seller than the buyer. So if I have this fair value gap accompanied by volume imbalance, I will be celebrating. Like I do love this one. So if I have this one, like they are together, uh, I will say, okay, this is a win trade already. You know, and my entry, suppose supposedly um, the optimum entry is on the 50% of the fair value gap. This here on the middle, that's your entry. That's the ideal and optimum entry for my strategy. And your stop loss is on the first candle that created this, created this fair value gap. So fair value gap is created by three candle, one, two, three, and this gap here or inefficiency here, that's the fair value gap. And on the 50% of that fair value gap is where you put your entry. And then aim for one is to two, right? One is to two, that's the option for the exit, option A on this strategy and put your stop loss there. But since, because we have this volume imbalance, price will tend to fill that gap before going down, before like moving to the right direction. Uh, most often than not. So if I have that, I'll put my entry here. So you see, I'm not risking a lot. I'm only risking 19 ticks and I'm like aiming for 62 ticks. So this is an example of optimum entry. And you're lucky if you have this because you have a volume imbalance in the market. The price will tend to mitigate that or fill that gap. So if the if the if the fair if the fair value gap is uh, the purpose of fair value gap that's an inefficiency, right? Fair value gap is like an inefficiency where we don't have a trading activity and then caused by like a sudden movement of a candle or sudden displacement. Maybe uh, someone someone's sell big and created that one. So, and then the difference between fair value gap is fair value gap, price tends to retest the fair value gap before going down, but the volume imbalance, volume imbalance is price will fill that, not retest, will fill that gap before going down. So this gap is near to this price here. That's why I will put my uh, my entry there because because it is near. It's not that far compared to this one here. This gap here, like it's already like failed to failed to you know price failed to feel that gap but uh, always not now not 
not today or not this time, but always uh, price will fill this gap all the time. Maybe now, maybe tomorrow, or maybe later, right after that. But this one is <laughs> this one is near, so and then we don't have that enough volume to push the price down. So I'll put my entry there. So that's an example of an optimum entry. And then we're lucky to have this volume imbalance on this example. And then you wait and then there you hit your take profit. There you hit. So you have you have your take profit within like less than 30 minutes or within less than one hour. So that's example number one for an optimum entry. And then let's find another one. Let's go to my uh, another session good good session to trade is London opening. So let's go to London opening. Uh, so in this strategy, uh, I only use this strategy on a kill zone, 7.30 p.m. to 9.30, uh, 3 a.m. to 4 a.m., 9.30 a.m. to 11 a.m., then 1.30 p.m. to uh, 4 p.m. or 3 p.m. That's it. And then uh, Asia time, yeah, 7.30 p.m. I already so that's that's my trading zone to this strategy and you, ch you choose your best session for you but don't trade on another like there uh, this this strategy will not work on consolidation but there are there there are consolidation that tradable and I will explain that to my next on on my next video all right so now we're here Let's see this. Let's test this one here. 3 a.m. London opening. And then we're trading. We're, we're, we're hunting quickly. 3 a.m. to 4 a.m. Let's see if we have a good, good one here. Let's see if we have a good. So we're looking for example. Okay. Okay, now look at this. Uh, we didn't cross yet. Okay. We crossed, give us a signal to buy. We have a displaced candle, created market shift, created market shift, right? That's a market shift and leave fair value gap. But, but this time you have multiple fair value gap, right? So maybe you will be confused. You have multiple one fair value gap there uh, another fair value gap there, and then you have another fair value gap there. So uh, if you have this, you get confused, and maybe you said, "Okay, this is risky to trade. Where will I put my where will I put my entry now?" So if you have this one, you need to assess the candles that created this multiple fair value gap if you have like a like a huge like a long or uh, tall dis tall displacement so don't consider that fail ba fair value gap Con uh, that's a void or manipulation or uh, a smart money mo uh, trade so it's a risky to trade and you will risking a lot but if you have this like if you combine this one like on three three minutes time frame they're not that this the displacement is just right right so what you can do if you if you're confused where to put your uh, entry your optimum entry will be uh, you will determine your optimum entry once you draw your Fibonacci premium and discount and measure that measure that uh, like all of that fair value gap and put your entry entry on the 50% of that fair value gap. So there, and your stop loss is on the first fair value, of course, on the first candle that created fair value gap. And you, you see, you're not risking a lot. You're only risking 37 ticks, which scribble maybe around 400. And then you're aiming for one is to two, like that, right? One is to two. And then let's see. 
Now you have it, all right? You see? You have a good entry. So there, you have, and you have your one is to two. That's another example. That's a best example for multiple, multiple fair value gap and how to use that multiple fair value gap to your advantage. So you draw your premium and discount, put that, put your entry on the 50% and then you see uh, you're still inside the trading zone. But if your entry will not mitigate it within this zone, then ex don't, don't consider the trade. It is an invalid trade. Then you need to like, okay, I don't have a set up this session. All right, that's example number two of our optimum entry. Now let's go, let's go move on. Let's move forward to the best uh, session of the NASDAQ, which is the uh, New York session AM. Okay, so right now, let's see. So I don't trade before 9.30. I don't care what will I see, but I just don't trade before 9.30 and I don't trade during major economic date, uh, economic calendar or like news, like announcement. I don't trade that. Okay, now we're here. 9.30 a.m. is the New York Asia opening and I will start hunting from 9.30 to 10 uh, a.m. 10:30, and then I will stop trading at 11 o'clock. So I just want to trade the pre-market opening range and the silver bullet. So silver bu bullet actually start at 10 a.m. 10 to 11, right? 10 to 11 is the silver bullet. Okay, right, like that. Now. You have this one okay you already have so this one here the signal to buy is was already happened here and this is just a trending market and then we have this why you're observing the market then all of a sudden you have that one this one here it's a huge displacement and we have a fair value gap here because we, we we have already like displacement here that created a breakup structure. It's not a market shift, it's a breakup structure right there. Mm, breakup structure. Right? And this this displaced candle here, this one, two, three created leave a fair value gap. And then at the same time we have a break of structure. Now, where, where you will put your entry now? Because you're not sure, because you see this? This is a long displace, like, like a tall candle. And of course, if I, if I will see this one, I'm not sure the market will still go back there to retest this fair value gap. But this fair value gap is high probability fair value gap. And then we wait, and all, us, all of a sudden we have this pullback a good pullback and then so we have another fair value gap right now I already told you that don't confuse yourself draw your Fibonacci premium and discount and put your put your entry on this 50% of that combined fair value gap and put your stop loss there so let's Trading should not be that complicated. Okay, we're trading like a robot without emotion. So we're risking a little bit, l a lot. So if you want to enter this trade and you don't want to like risk more than 500, so go use micro. Go use micro. And then one is to two. But this one is more than one is to two. So let's see, we're aiming for more. One 
minus the 3, like that. Put your entry there. Uh -huh. Then there, do you buy? Oh, wait, let's do it again, because I want to I wanna see how much how much we will have. Uh, play. Buy. Let's pause it. So you see, the price still uh, still like test the 50% of this extreme fair value gap over the first fair value gap, and we are on the market now, and we are not we. Yeah, we are just, you see, look at that. You're just risking 145, right? And then you, we can aim 1,000 or that one here. And let's go. Then we hit that and we have like 975, right? It's a very good one, right? And uh, yeah, so that's an example of an optimum entry. Okay. Let's let's have another example. One more example, and then we're done with this video. One more example of the state of the step number four of this strategy. Okay, now we have this. We fulfill again the one to three steps of the uh, strategy to enter the market. Okay, and now you, we have a very fair value gap here. And then this is a good one because you, you have a chance to, no, this is a good one. Okay, will you consider this fair value gap, this one too, this one here? So on my strategy, this is not my fair value gap on this strategy. You know why? Because this fair value gap has happened like it's not created by the displacement or my displacement because my displacement this is my displacement candle and then my dis this displacement candle candle uh, created this market shift right it's a market shift okay but we we have a market shift we have a super trend, but we don't. Uh, we have a fair value gap there, but uh, it's not a fair value gap that created by this displaced candle or displaced candles. So how can I? I don't have a fair value gap here. So how can I put my optimum entry? So since this is high volume uh, time, you go and go more like uh, go to 30 seconds, and then maybe we'll see some fair value gap there. Okay, so you're already here, and now where is my fair value gap? Okay, so you do have a fair value gap there. You see that one here? But that fair value gap is after the good displaced candle. So where where I can put my entry now? So you're in 30 seconds, and this one here, you see this one this week here? So this is a consider considerable. We have this one here. Actually, this one here. Uh, go more, 15 seconds. Yes. And this is all right. So this is a. I'll consider this a fair value gap because of this week. And this is a. This is like a. It's like. Uh, what do you call that? A volume imbalance to me. We have this one here. Uh, this is where the market shift. And actually, we also have one here. This one. Sorry. This one here. This is a series of like imbalance because of this week. That consider you can consider that a fair value gap. So these two here, 
and then I will I will be because this one this fair value gap the this one here I will respect that one and and I'll res I will respect also this candles here because if you go further down to five seconds that's a series of fair value gap fair value gap fair value gap you see what I mean that's a fair value gap that's already mitigated but uh, they are not a high probability fair value gap so there's tendency that the price will the price will dissolve this fair value gap or nullify that so that's why I have that and I'm considering these three now I'm one minute I'm considering these three and then I'll put my entry here put my entry here I put my stop loss here like that and then one is the two that's why on my live sometimes you see me ent entering a trade even though uh, you don't see in a one minute time frame the fair value gap and it's because the fair value gap that I I'm using is like lower time frame and then in this case you see we hit the price respected this one here mm -hmm. you see? and it respect this area this fair value I get here so if this happens and you are like you the the, the market left you don't chase it so that's our that's our optimum entry based on the lower time frame fair value gap and ba based on the displacement so based on the displacement and based on the strategy that we are using but if you left behind it's fine don't worry about it forget about the trade then by this time we'll go continue 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 and then we're done so we didn't catch that move that's okay you already have this move here so you didn't catch this move so that's fine but I'm telling you that's how you set up your uh, optimum fair value gap right so you don't have like you will not know you will not know that there's no way that you know that the price will continue like to go abruptly down and uh, entering entering uh, entering entering here like, like enter in this market here it's risky because you're risking a lot right and I'm afraid to enter the market here or here so my safe entry will be on this level on my optimum entry criteria but since the market left us that's fine that's fine so that's an example on how to use the step number four the optimum entry of this strategy and I hope you learn something from it uh, if you want to ask some question uh, leave comment leave a comment uh, leave a comment and I'll try to answer it thank you so much bye